Something that we've done each week in this teaching series is we've had someone in our community come up and speak to the goodness of God from the context of their life. So I'm going to invite my friend Corey up here. And I've known Corey for over a decade. We actually met, uh, we started a, a Bible study in a house with about six people. And it was just like crazy to see what God did through that Bible study because there was, there was a couple month stretch where over a hundred young adults showed up at our house. And there were people like sitting all the way down the hallway, in bedrooms, out the back door. We got some gross couches we put in the backyard. And we were literally just praying together and preaching the word and worshiping. And I think if I trace back Corey and I's friendship, it really originated through that time, but it was, it was in the wee hours of the morning when everybody cleared out and it was just myself and him and a couple other dudes sitting in the living room processing who God is and what it means to follow Jesus. And so, uh, I mean, you do life with somebody for a decade, you learn the good, the bad, and the ugly. And if anybody wanted to burn this place down, Corey could do it, because he knows my not best things. There's not a lot, just chill out, nothing like deal breaker. I'm not trying to say that, but he's just seen me up close. He's seen that I'm a man of flesh and blood, and I've also seen that he's a man of flesh and blood. And so I'm gonna back up and just let him speak to the goodness of God from the context of his life. Yeah, so uh, thanks for having me up here. Uh, I just talked with Grant a couple minutes ago. I had something planned. I had talked about because my life's pretty good right now. Like, it's pretty sweet. Um, and I wasn't going to do this because I had planned it out. We're going to be good. I'm not going to cry in front of people. But, um, yeah, I feel, felt like the Spirit rerouted me a couple minutes ago. And I'm going to focus focus on a part of my story. Um, <clears throat> if I can get out 100 words, we'll be good. It'll be great. Uh, yeah, so I, for a really long time, have wrestled with OCD. Um, when I was when I was younger, <clears throat> I was afraid to hug my mom because I was going to hurt her. Um, relationships were really hard for me, and uh, yeah, and I got married like a year ago which is such a gift. Like that's, that's a testimony to his goodness. It is, it is. And then I, but even when I say that, I'm like, well, I went to therapy and I did this and I made this good decision and we worked hard on this, but like sitting in the tension of the reality that like it's God's goodness that got me here. Um, and when life is good, I recognize that I, it's easy to fall into the temptation that like, oh, it's actually, my good decisions, my hard work, my things that have got me to this place. Um, when, Grant, you mentioned this sometimes, but the involuntary bodily function of your heart beating is a gift. We don't think about that. While we're sleeping, we don't stop breathing. Um, so yeah, I don't know, this was totally different than what I was gonna share, but I, God is so good. Um, and some friends are going through some really, really hard things right now. So I sit in the tension of like, um, it's hard to see that sometimes. And even when it's really good, some friends' lives are really good. And it can be really easy to miss out on the goodness of God thinking that you're the reason that it's good. But um, yeah, I think one thing I did plan was um, one obstacle to the visibility of seeing God's goodness is trust. Um, when I don't trust him, when things are hard, it's really, 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 really hard to, to um, believe that he has my best interest at heart. But when I can take the step of trusting him, it opens my eyes to the goodness um, and his provision and that ultimately he has our best interest at heart. So, yeah, that's what I got for us today. <laughs> yeah, man. I just, like when you came up to me in the hallway and you're like, bro, I don't know what's happening. I was just going to talk about how good my life is right now. And I just want to say thank you for modeling what it looks like to be sensitive to the spirit for all of us. Like, I mean, you didn't hear the 
the audible voice of God from heaven, you just were like, Grant, I'm sensing something. And I was like, let's walk that way then. And I just want you to, I want to say another thing that I really admire about you, Corey, is like, you know, all of us are going to go through faith crises in our life. And I'm not going to air all your stuff, but you were really, you let me be part of, you went through a process of deconstructing some stuff. You sat, you sat in the basement of like, dude, is this even real? Like this, and it, you didn't stay there and you didn't isolate yourself from community. And I think the way that you navigated that faith crisis and that deconstruction part of your story where you didn't step out of Christian community and then you also were honest with yourself and what you just said when you talked about trusting God, I saw you trust God with a lot of questions that you had that we still, you and I don't have answers to. And so I see God's goodness all over your life and I specifically see it in that area where all of us have questions. All of us are wrestling with God to varying degrees, but I think the beauty in it was that you continued to trust God and you didn't just stay locked in the basement of deconstruction. You allowed God to meet you in those questions and trust him with the unknowns. And so I just love you a lot, bro. And thank you for just being real with us. And OCD is no joke. It's not fake. It's, it, it impacts every facet of your life. And I've seen you walk in humility through that journey as well. So I'm gonna pray for Corey. If you feel uh, comfortable, would you just extend a hand as a posture of agreeance in the prayer over him? Lord, thank you so much for our brother. Thank you for his sensitivity to your spirit's leading. Thank you for how far you've brought him and how far you've brought all of us on account of your goodness, not our own. And so we just look at Corey and his life right now and we give you glory and praise and we express gratitude that you are a good God and your goodness often is an unfolding narrative like we looked at last week. And would you help all of us trust you when it doesn't seem like you're very good in the moment? We love you, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thanks, Corey.